So I'm just talking now to Mark Lindsley, who's the programme manager for the T100, and perhaps we can have a few words on uh, how the aircraft is developing and where it's sitting in the uh, competition for the TX programme. Yeah, welcome. Uh, today is an exciting time for us because we're nearing the uh, source selection by the Air Force, the decision. Uh, we're, of course, getting our team ready. We expect that the Air Force will make a decision sometime here toward the end of the summer. So at this point, we're getting our team ready, uh, ready to execute the program. Uh, our aircraft and our team uh, are poised and ready to go. Our team, as we've got here, you know, is composed of Leonardo. Yep. Uh, Leonardo DRS, as well as Leonardo Aircraft. Okay. Uh, together, one company and one team. Uh, CAE is bringing the uh, training system. Our, we have an integrated training system yep. that the Air Force is looking for. You understand they're not just looking for the aircraft. Sure. They're looking for an integrated it, system. It's a package, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. simulators, all the training devices and so forth. And we have a very strong capability there in that integration. In fact, because we've sold this aircraft to several different countries, right. uh, we already have that demonstrated around the world already. Good. And then our engines are from Honeywell. We've got the F-124 uh, engine, two of them, in fact, uh, on this aircraft, giving us that redundancy. So very strong team. And our entire team is, is working together to be ready, as I said. Uh, what I like to say is ready to hit the ground running. Because as soon as we win, hopefully, uh, we got to be ready to give the Air Force that solution and you know, begin to execute the development and fielding of the platform. Excellent. Thank you for the summary. And uh, just hitherto, who have you sold the aircraft to, just so we get a general sense of the context of T100 uh, uh, with, with other customers? Well, of course, Italy, uh, yeah. Poland, Israel. Uh, that aircraft is fielded around and, and already in operation. Uh, very strong capability, uh, well supported by those nations. And do you see the aircraft uh, with carrying pylons and uh, sort of roll equipment, or do you just see it as a clean sort of uh, mid mid trainer, uh, or I, I suppose it's just working towards the, the, uh, satisfying the requirement that the, the United States Air Force? Well, has? I think that's the key point. The Air Force has asked us for a trainer. So we've developed the aircraft to be a very strong trainer. It has to be able to have the capability to, to carry stores on board the airplane, right. but very non-specified. But in anticipation of the future, as we try to meet those requirements, the Air Force, in fact, did ask us for an expansion capability uh, to have the capability to grow this platform in the future, and that was part of the requirements. Yes. Uh, this aircraft could do that in the future, should the Air Force choose to do right. that. Right. And I notice, just to finish off, next door you have the M346, which is clearly, you know, a proper leading fighter trainer in, in in every context, and you've got a wide range of uh, uh, equipment fitted on that. So you see this as just sort of uh, leading into that type of capability, I assume. Well, yeah. Yes, certainly. If if the nations. Uh the other nations of the world decide that they would like this capability. Uh, I think you know that's something they could ask for in the future. Uh, the basic platform of the T-100 certainly could be expanded to carry uh, other stores, other you know weapons, as yeah. well as you know other training devices. Yeah. Mark, thank you very much. I'd absolutely love to fly on the back of one of these. It looks spectacular. So thank you for your time and have a great show. Thank you very much.